Welcome back. Last week, we learned that U.S. intelligence officials have concluded that the Russians are once again trying to interfere in the presidential election, presumably to help President Trump. Mr. Trump falsely dismissed this as democratic disinformation. The do-nothing Democrats, they said today that Putin wants to be sure that Trump gets elected. Here we go. I was told that was happening. I, I was told a week ago, they said, you know, they're trying to start a rumor. It's disinformation. And yet the president dismissed his intelligence chief involved in that briefing, Joseph McGuire. Bernie Sanders also confirmed that intel officials told his campaign a month ago that Russia is trying to help him, too. Here is the message to Russia. Stay out of American elections. Joining me now, representing the White House, is Vice President Pence's chief of staff, Mark Short. Mr. Short, welcome back to Meet the Press. Chuck, thanks for having me back. Uh, just a basic question. Does the president believe that Russia is trying to interfere in the 2020 election? I think that Russia and other nations have consistently tried to interfere in American elections. The question that I think is out in some of the fake news media was an assertion that Russia was intentionally trying to help Donald Trump. That's different than four nations consistently looking to undermine America's democracy. They, they will always try to do that. All right. He called it a disinformation campaign. The president himself, he believes his intel officials are passing on disinformation to him? No, Chuck. What he believes is that the people leading the House Intelligence Committee, particularly Chairman Schiff, intentionally distort information and leak information that is false. This the information briefings... didn't come from them, though. This information <laughs> came from the intel officials. No, no, Chuck. I, in fact, was in the very briefing that the president received from the Intelligence Committee. There has not been an assertion. There has not been an assertion that Russia is trying to benefit Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. That isn't different than saying well, that... Well, forget Donald nations... Trump. I, what I don't understand is, why isn't the president concerned about Russian interference? And concerned, Chuck. How about, how about the media covering the fact that in 2018, when Donald Trump was president, we had midterm elections that went off without a hitch. In 2016, when there was interference, it was under the Obama administration's right. regime. In 2016, okay. National Security Advisor... Don not to scream, but Susan Rice told her team to stand down. That's what they testified. The head of cybersecurity at NSC said we were told to stand down when raising concerns about Russian interference. Right. We continue to talk about what's happening here with Donald Trump when, in fact, we've enhanced security in elections. The elections today have been asserted that they are safer than they were. The, the, the acting chief of staff, Mick Mulvaney, said that the previous head of the previous, the last Senate confirmed Department of Homeland Security Secretary that we had, Kirsten Nielsen, was told she could not bring up efforts to deter election interference, particularly when it came to Russia, because it set the president off. I mean, are officials even allowed to bring this up to the president? Of course. I don't know what, what, what Mick said in that context. I was there just this week when officials were bringing it up and talking about it. It's why the president has had the Department of Homeland Security and others ba basically work with 1,100 municipalities across the country to ensure that... Why did he get rid of Mr. McGuire? Joe McGuire, Admiral McGuire, is an American patriot who has served with honor and distinction. And Donald Trump hopes that Joe McGuire will find another role in our administration. His term Why did was he dismiss him? He, because March 12th was his end date. We had to nominate you somebody could, else. You could have nominated him we, permanently for the so job. So we're going to have an Why interim director. We have an interim director and Rick Grinnell. And the president is going to come forward with a more permanent director. Why, what he was Supposedly he was going to appoint Mr. McGuire, but he decided not to. Was that, it due to I, this briefing? I don't know anyone who said that he was supposed to be briefing. He was supposed to be nominating him, Chuck. That I think that the he president... He was never under consideration for the job? I don't know if he was or he wasn't, but I never heard somebody assert that he's the leading contender. This is what he's definitely going to get the position. I, again, Adam McGuire served with distinction. He's an American patriot. Patriot, and the president hopes he'll find another role from our administration. I want to get you to respond to something that uh, the former um, Admiral Wayne McRaven wrote in the Washington Post. He said this, in this administration, good men and women don't last long. Joe was dismissed for doing his job overseeing the dissemination of intelligence to elected officials who needed that information to do their jobs. Um, Admiral McRaven's no partisan hack. Uh, I respect Admiral McRaven's point of view, but he doesn't know what he's talking about here. He's not part of the administration. I've seen the president interact with Adam McGuire. He respects Adam McGuire, and as I just said to you several times, he's looking to find another role for Adam McGuire inside our administration. Why can't the president say he wants to deter Russia from interfering in the election? His first reaction was, it's made up, it's Democrat disinformation. He, he does want to stop foreign interference. He, never said he has taken multiple steps with the Department of Homeland Security, and I think you're going to see he, he got a briefing on what always happened, and he said, you know, I think we should be having a briefing here at the White House in the next couple of weeks so we can tell the American people how we're making sure that our voting is, is safer. He wants to do that, and he'll be doing that in the next few couple of weeks. Does he believe the Russians are interfering in the election? He believes trying to help Bernie Sanders? Look, Chuck, I, I think the reality is it's hard to suggest that when this administration has taken steps time and again to sanction Russia harder than any president since Reagan, 
This president actually took steps that had actually killed Russian mercenaries on the battlefield in Syria. That Russia would prefer to have Donald Trump than a person who had Bernie Sanders who honeymooned in the Soviet Union and still seems to prefer Marxism over capitalism. The president, though, continues to use a Russian talking point when it comes to the 2016 interference, when he brings up things like CrowdStrike uh, in that uh, phone call. So, I, I, on one hand, the administration sanctions Russia. The president himself, using the bully pulpit, lets Russia off the hook. The president has taken multiple steps to make sure that our elections are safer. He has taken many steps to sanction Russians. Those are not things that just the administration does. They have to go to the president's desk. He's the one that signs off on this, Chuck. He has taken more steps to make sure that America is safer from Russian interference. Okay, let me ask you this. By him saying they're trying to start a rumor, it's disinformation. How does that do anything to deter the Russians? How does that not just actually say... Russia, come on because in, and, his and frustration, I'm going to call it disinformation. His frustration is when their when they're mid-level people go up in front of the House Intelligence Committee before they brief the president, and they go up and they brief mm -hmm. uh, Chairman Schiff, he knows that information is going to get leaked out and distorted. And that's exactly... So what you're saying is, because he believes it could get leaked, he is not going to f essentially inform the legislative branch no, of what's that's happening? Not what I've said. Well, that's not what I've said. We're, we've been continually informing the legislative branch. But his concern is that if you do it in a way in front of uh, Chairman Schiff, who has continued to lie to the American people time and again on multiple occasions, particularly about this, this president's relationship with Russia and continue to purport a Russian hoax conspiracy, yes, that is frustrating to the president. Of course it is. Okay, but frustrating enough to then mislead the he's country? Not. He's not, Chuck. Look at what the administration has continued to do. As I just told you, the 2018 midterm elections went off without a hitch. We are working with 1,100 municipalities across the country. We have continued to sanction and, and actually sign laws that stiffen penalties for election interference. Again, I go back to the president's words. How does that, what does that do to enhance security? Doesn't it undermine the very thing you're just telling me you're doing? Um, I would tell you that we are continuing to take the steps. The president's frustration, again, remains more with Adam Schiff and those in the House Intelligence Committee who he thinks will not take the information honestly and will not represent it. So is Mr. McGuire dismissed because no. they informed the House no. Intelligence Committee no. of this information? No, no. Had he not informed the House Intelligence Committee, would we be here? Adam McGuire was not the one who was actually testifying in front of that. Committee. I know that. It was, he people, didn't do it. it was people beneath him. But allowing that briefing to happen, that was something the president um, did not like? It was not a matter of allowing it to happen. It's a matter of what is the oversight and how it happens. What's the process to make sure that, that the people are testifying to those at senior levels who understand the political gamesmanship that Chairman Schiff is going is to conduct? Do you believe that Mr. McGuire was somehow being a partisan here and that no. his team was being a no, partisan? No, Chuck, I've said to you several times that we have great respect for Adam McGuire, and I think the guy is an American patriot. And the president himself has said, I want to find another place where he can serve in our administration. Okay, but you keep saying that it, but somehow it's, briefing a bipartisan group of House lawmakers, the Intel is, Committee, is which is a responsibility yeah, of the it administration. Is. Absolutely it is. But the president said that that was a mistake. No, the president's frustration was that he wasn't briefed before they were briefed. So you had mid-level people going up into a very partisan environment that's supposed to be behind closed doors, Chuck. Keep in mind, that was supposed to be a classified information, and yet it still was leaked out to the American people. Okay, but who who leaked it out? It appears it looks like it came from the it looks like it came from the administration. No, no, because the president's concern was exactly to say, look, if you do that, they're going to say that the the, the that the Russians are trying to help Donald Trump, which is exactly what the leak said. I want you to try to clarify something else. There's been reporting this weekend that the new personnel director in the West Wing, Johnny McEntee, is conducting a review of all agencies and departments to ensure that all political appointees are loyal to President Trump. Can you explain what what the freeze is about? Uh, there are thousands of civil servants who serve in the executive branch. Mm -hmm. Of those, a small percentage are political appointees. Every administration will want to make sure the people in those political appointment roles are people who support the administration. How do they prove this? I, 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 don't, I don't know if they, they prove it, Chuck. I just think it's looking and saying we want to make sure the people who are true political appointees are those supporting the administration. That's not any different than what other administrations No, I understand that, done. but cabinet secretaries are no longer allowed to make their own appointments. Oh, um, or I, because there was a report that said they're not allowed to appoint their deputies anymore, that the White House has to... The way it works those. in Republican and Democrat administrations alike is that cabinet secretaries should be working with White House presidential personnel office together to make those decisions. That's the way it's going to continue to work. Last question. The president had this post-Nevada tweet. Looks like crazy Bernie is doing well in the great state of Nevada. Congratulations, Bernie, and don't let them take it away from you. The president is rooting on Bernie Sanders for the Democratic nomination? 
Uh, I, don't, I don't know that he's reading on Bernie Sanders. I think he's pointing out the irony that a lot of Democrats today still complain about the Electoral College, yet they have a process that doesn't award the nomination to those who gets the most votes. And so I think he's, you know, he's, again, Does the president the prefer to run against Bernie Sanders? I think the president's comfortable with any of the candidates in this field. He's got a tremendous record on the economy. He's got a tremendous record on national security. We've created over 7 million new jobs, unemployment, all-time lows. This it's notable he never, never attacks Bernie. He attacks Bloomberg. He attacks Biden. He never attacks Bernie. Trust me, Chuck, this president is pretty comfortable with that entire field. Mark Short, uh, Chief of Staff of the Vice President, thanks for coming on. Appreciate thanks for having me on. Appreciate it. Hello from Washington, I'm Chuck Todd, and thanks for checking out the Meet the Press channel on YouTube. Click on the button down here to subscribe and click over here to watch the latest interviews, highlights, and other digital exclusives.